often the purpose of a mechanism is to transfer or transform a given input motion into a desired output motion if we start with a four bar linkage like this with given link lengths then potentially we can fix any of these four links to derive four different four bar mechanisms this process is called as inversion essentially inversion is nothing but a shift of observer from one link to another so a different link appears fixed to him or her and a different input output relationship is observed for example in this case we can give input to link ab which is capable of complete rotation so we would call it a crank then the output link cd on the oscillates giving us a rocker so here we have a crank rocker mechanism by fixing link ad now suppose we fix a different link say link cd this time then we will get a different input output relationship so now we don't have any crank at all but there are essentially two rockers moving like this let us see how we can represent the bare essential of what we did in a schematic manner if we focus on these four revolute pairs a b c and d and think of how far each one of them rotates then we notice the pair a and b rotate completely so i have marked it with complete green circles while c and d rotate only partially so i have marked them with partial red arcs and then i have represented the links by a general schematic uh, symbol like this arc so this represents our linkage finally we add which link is fixed with this notation and we have a inversion over here let us see how this notation or schematic representation describes our inversion here link ad is fixed so let us say ab is our input that would make cd the output since link ab is connected to a fully rotating uh, pin or a revolute pair this will form a crank while cd is connected to a partially rotating revolute pair so it will only oscillate forming a rocker so this is a crank rocker let us see another inversion for that we are going to fix link a b here if this is the input bc and ad is the output then both are connected to a fully rotating pin and therefore both of them will be cranks so we get a double crank and fixing link cd would put our input link as well as output link in contact with a partially rotating revolute pair and therefore both of them will become a rocker and then we will get a double rocker mechanism i am sure you will agree with me that inversion offers us an unbeatable deal of buy one get four free we start with a single linkage and get four mechanisms using inversion